Okay, I'm going to begin uh, with you, Chris and, and Zachary. I mean, when you get on set, uh, obviously it's the third, third outing now in the Star Trek universe, the second you see the crew, you see the, the outfits, and I mean, do you instantly just become the characters? I mean, it's almost kind of instantaneous the second you kind of set, step back foot into this, into this shoot. I mean, it's a process. I feel like, you know, we have fittings, we have makeup tests, you know, you go through... Um, you go through the, the steps that are part of um, returning to that, that uh, <laughs> physicality and that, that world. Um, but it's so familiar to be back with everybody and to work together so easily and we have so much fun that uh, I do feel like it's kind of like, yeah, it happens pretty quickly. And Sophia, of course, you're new to this, this world. I mean, I imagine you spent a lot of time every day in makeup. Did they at least let you sit next to Idris Elba while you were having everything? Yeah, he was right there. Yeah. Right on my left. <laughs> my left, yeah. I bet we were both busy sleeping so yeah, <laughs> and then um, when first posed with the idea of, of, of making uh, this movie this is more for the returning cast again i mean did you have any apprehensions were you quite keen to get involved pretty much on the offset when with this one or yeah, with this film yeah oh i mean yeah i don't i don't even think it was really a question for us you know we we were excited to hear that they were going to make a third one and uh we were all attached to it i mean we didn't we couldn't have we couldn't have said no if we wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Simon Pegg's on screenwriting duties. Did you have to be really kind of nice to him to make sure you got some good lines? He didn't kill you off? Well, he wrote all the best scenes for himself, yeah. obviously, because he spent so much time <laughs> with the lovely Sophia. But um, he was great. I mean, he's a great guy and uh, brings so much of his heart and his humor to his work. And uh, he was really available to all of us. And... Uh, supportive even when he wasn't shooting as an actor he was on set for us and mm -hmm. a real resource if we had any questions or concerns and it must have been great to get uh, justin on board because i mean obviously jj was did a fantastic job but to have an, a new approach someone injecting kind of new life into this franchise with a different vision was that quite kind of beneficial you think to your own performances yeah insofar as i think you know justin is many things but he's a uh, he's a great great leader and that's really what we needed and that's what we've had since the beginning is someone who's shepherded the process I think what's been nice about having Justin aboard for the third is that there's um, kind of a different space and relationship between the director and the cast. And I think in this one, it's it's almost as if the the parents left for the weekend and the, the kids <laughs> threw the, a big party. Uh, and uh, we had a lot of fun. And to have Simon, one of us, in a, as Zach has said, in a creative position was was great. He knows us. He knows what our strengths are. and and. Um, and uh, we had a, a lot of fun. I mean, it feels like at the moment, I mean, there's obviously, there's society in general has been quite fractured in the US and in the UK at the moment. I mean, this film, the overriding message is, is everyone kind of coming together. It doesn't matter where you're from, what, what planet you're from. Um, I mean, do you think this is quite an important time for this film to release? Do you think this is a film that we quite need at the moment? I definitely think that it, it has resonant themes that are really um, germane to where society is right now. It's interesting. I mean, it remains a summer blockbuster popcorn adventure film, but I think the history of Star Trek and its 50th anniversary has always been reflective back to audiences in a way that, um, that invites them into a kind of debate or discourse about where they are, right, socially. And that's certainly true of this one. You know, we are really fractured, and it's kind of shocking how quickly it's happened and how dramatically you know, different, um, different poli political area, like different, different countries, different places are fractured in the same way and the same argument of people who are interested in uh, a progressive movement towards inclusion and, and, and uh, acceptance and, uh, and people that are really locked down in an old way of thinking and a nationalistic, xenophobic, uh, fear-driven way. And, you know, I think there is only one way to go. There's only one way to evolve as human beings. And, um, and hopefully, you know, that's the way we'll go, and that's the, certainly the way that this, this franchise explores and, and what it represents. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.